Washington expressed its disappointment. Iran says the time is not appropriate to hold a meeting on the nuclear deal. Tehran said that it did not see a change in Biden's policy, and the maximum pressure continues and there is no guarantee that Washington will implement its pledges. On Sunday, Iran ruled out an informal meeting with the United States and European powers to discuss ways to revive the 2015 nuclear deal, and insisted that Washington lift all its unilateral sanctions, while the White House said it was disappointed with the Iranian position. Iranian media quoted Foreign Ministry spokesman Saeed Katibzadeh as saying, Given the recent measures and statements of the United States and three European countries, Iran does not consider this the right time to hold an informal meeting with these countries, which was suggested by the European Union's foreign policy coordinator. Dot. The Iranian Foreign Ministry said that it did not see a change in Biden's policy, and that the maximum pressure continues and there is no guarantee that Washington will implement its pledges, adding that Tehran adopts a step-for-step -step policy, and will respond to any negative positions as appropriate. And she stressed the need for Washington to lift the sanctions and abide by the terms of the Nuclear Agreement and Resolution 2231. In response to the Iranian position, the White House said it was disappointed, explaining that the U.S. administration is ready to return to engage in diplomacy with the aim of achieving a reciprocal return on the obligations of the nuclear deal. The White House added that it would consult with Washington's partners in the 5 plus 1 group on the best way forward. A White House spokeswoman said, although we are disappointed by Iran's response, we remain ready to re-engage in serious diplomacy to achieve a mutual return to compliance with the obligations of the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, referring to the nuclear deal. Guarantees for its part, the Wall Street Journal quoted two Western diplomats as saying that Iran wanted guarantees that Washington would lift some sanctions after the meeting, noting that Iran's refusal did not dampen hopes for direct negotiations in the coming months. In the same context, the head of the Atomic Energy Organization of Iran, Ali Akbar Salehi, said that his country would respond appropriately to any decision issued against it at the meeting of the Board of Governors of the International Atomic Energy Agency scheduled for the beginning of next March. And it was news reports that the Board of Governors of the International Atomic Energy Agency would adopt a decision against Iran after stopping the work of the additional supplement.